Hi everyone, so today I have quite a few things to talk about and uh, pretty much a haul from Michaels is what I have. I do have some Amazon things to show you guys, so if there are any links in the description box, um, those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. Uh, that would be like to the Amazon stuff and whatever else might come up. But um, some housekeeping. So real quick, I realized I never showed a final list of um, people who are in the romantic, shabby, chic... Um, traveler's notebook swap so I do want to show that real quick um, because that's generally what I do at the end of swaps when the time is up and I just forgot to do it because I was doing other things and reminding people about the uh, crafty Galentine swap the crafty Galentine swap which is the embellished uh, case with a card and a treat um, are due postmark by tomorrow the 26th so make sure you've done that if you are in that swap and I did email everybody that I haven't received their items so far uh, for the Crafty Galentine and so if you can check your email let me know um, it would be great if I can get a tracking number for you and about half of them are in I think it's going to take a long time to go through each uh, swap so I think I might start the swaps tomorrow even though yes there need to be postmark by the 26th which is tomorrow because I need to start getting them going and I don't know that we can sit for three hours at a time to get them going so don't worry if you start seeing the reveals and you haven't got yours in the mail yet um, you know, it needs to be in the mail by tomorrow, but uh, just because I have a feeling it's going to take a minute. So uh, we might get started with the swap reveals tomorrow. Uh, okay, so this is the Romantic Shabby Chic, and my handwriting is, you know, horrible as usual, but just make sure uh, your name is on there. If you emailed to sign up and I've responded saying you are signed up. I know about five or six people asked me for the guidelines without signing up. They wanted to read the guidelines first, and then I didn't hear back from those people, so you are not on the list just because I sent the guidelines because you were curious does not mean you are signed up so please don't send me anything and as with any swap I always say do not send anything because I know my address is always in the description box unless you have signed up and heard back from me okay guys so uh, please respect that because otherwise it makes me uh, have a little bit of a headache because I'm like what is this <laughs> like and it happens every once in a while so please if you are not signed up didn't hear back from me again this is for the uh, romantic shabby chic the sign up closed on I, a couple days ago, but I just forgot to show the final list, so just let me know. Um, there you are. I do have some happy mail, actually, so we'll share that. But uh, with the um, Romantic Shabby Chic Traveler's Notebook Swap, don't forget to follow the guidelines, guys. I don't want to take people out for breaking the rules. And um, those are postmarked, need to be postmarked by the 31st, which is next Monday, I believe, right? I do have some happy mail, and you know what? I should have opened them, because sometimes it's maybe something I, you know, it's just for me, but hold on. This is from Teresa Rue. Aw, thank you. Look at hand stamp by Teresa. Look at that. I love this. Look, oh my gosh. So there's a few things going on here, you know, I'm not the best at picking out like treatments, but I love the way she matted this, and I don't know if this paper came this way, or if she then embossed it and then did some, I don't know, but there's a lot of texture to this, it's really pretty, I love the little thanks, and look at the little um, twine around here, that is so cute. Thank you, Teresa. I'll read this to myself, but I do like to show off. Oh, <laughs> she had won uh, the Bodabra. So it was just a thank you card. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And this one is from Beta Stoner. And Beta has sent me uh, cards in the past, and they're always super gorgeous. So let me open this up. I don't want to destroy this, but I feel like I'm going to. <laughs> thank you so much, Beta. Oh, it's just a sweet uh, spring card. Look. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I actually turned off my lights, and I even don't have one on, and it's still really bright. And all the. Hey, there we go. The difference is the. Um, the mat, I'm telling you, with my blue mat, it had to have like the most lighting and it still was dark. So this is crazy. Um, so if you're making videos and you want to know, I used to have a black mat in the background, but it was really tiny and close to my heart one. And then it got really nasty and it had like glue and all kinds of stuff stuck to it. And I even had comments of people asking me or telling me, you know, I shouldn't have such a dirty mat, which is not dirty. It's just <laughs> crafted on. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this one pristine to not hurt anyone's sensibilities if it bothers them. Oh, look how cute. Sending you love. Oh, and the little XOXO. This is so gorgeous, Beta. Thank you. What a sweet card. Um, and then, <laughs> I have a big pack of paper on my lap. I don't know why I was going to show it to you guys, but let me move that. Um, this is from, I'm not sure, on the outside it says the Bushers. And when I got it, it's a huge, <laughs> a flat rate 
priority box. Um, it was really heavy, and I thought it was going to be the Crafty Galantine, and I thought, oh my gosh, what did this person put in here? But no, it's just a bunch of, um, I believe, hold on, let me get this little note. There's a little note in here for VNA Creates. <laughs> um... Laura! Okay, so I'm assuming her last name is Busher, because on the outside it says Bushers. Um, I love your videos and get so much inspiration from you. I was reorganizing my craft room and wanted to share some of my dupes with you. Feel free to keep whatever you like and feel free to use whatever you don't for giveaways. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, well I'll just pull out a few things to show you. And oh my gosh, look at, <laughs> yeah, duplicates you for sure. Oh, look at the snowflakes. I love these little packages too, they're so cute, the little uh, clips. Oh, look at this little guy! <laughs> that is so cute! I mean, this is just jam-packed. I'm just pulling out a few things um, to show you guys. Oh my gosh, she even has some Nouveau Drops in here. Some of these colors look very familiar, so I will definitely um, put them in giveaways. Oh my goodness! So I do not have one of these! Oh my gosh! It's the Nouveau, um, basically a drop holder or whatever you want to put in here, but it's designed so that these things fit in there, right? I don't know. I feel like that's the case. You're supposed to put them in here or like this, upside down, upside down, right? So they're ready to go. <gasps> Thank you. I don't have one of these. Which reminds me, uh, as far as tonic goes, they came out with a new showcase that was adorable. It's called like Adorable Library or something, and it has the typewriter and all these things. So I ordered those things myself. Of course, I'm waiting for them to come in, but that just came out. And then they also came out with like a tea set. I ordered that too, so I'm waiting for that to come in. They don't send me everything they come out with, but what they don't send me, um, I pretty much try and buy myself, so I did order those things, so when they come in, I'll have the links in the description box in case you didn't see them, because I know a lot of times they put out different things, and you know, if I don't have it, maybe you didn't see it. Oh my gosh, just stamps and like uh, paper. Oh my gosh, a Gina K design stamp set. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in here, you guys, so thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Laura. Oh my goodness. Wow, there's some slimline border dies in here. I mean, they're just... Thank you. So I will go through this and we'll definitely share. Thank you so much. Uh, let me put that to the side here. All right. Oh my, this is so cool. I love it. I love this, especially because it says Nouveau on there and then some foil. Check that out. Um, okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, just a couple things real quick. The other day I was realizing my little tiny attacher, this Tim Holtz um, stapler, I was like, oh, I need to refill it. So I went to grab my little mini staples that I have, you know, just everybody, you know, you have the regular size staples and the mini kind. Well, guess what? Those mini ones don't fit in this. This thing is even smaller than that, which I didn't realize. So on Amazon, I just picked some up. Of course, you can find these anywhere, but I did grab some. And, it, you know, this thing probably came with refills when I first bought it, but I don't know where I put them. So uh, I bought these and look how tiny they are. I should have a, another set to show you. Oh, I don't. They're literally like this much smaller than mini mini staples. So if you're curious and you have one and you haven't refilled it, you do need specific little guys. Um, maybe you have another staple that staples this tiny, but it's just a little bit smaller. So I'm like, right. Why? Why? But it's because they're so cute. I did order the little plastic snaps. Um, the Dritz um, snap attacher thing, plier that I reviewed the other day. It's awesome. It's very heavy. It feels really nice. Um, I, along with that link, there's also like little plastic snaps, and I ordered these because they're so cute. The little <laughs> faces, little um, they're like little flowers. So I thought oh, I had to grab those. So I grabbed those, and then I was using felt on a project the other day, actually for my traveler's notebook. And um, all the felt I have is pretty much stiff felt. I do have some floppy felt, so I ordered this from the same link I provided you guys, because um, just in case you guys wanted to get some felt. Well, anyway, and what I mean by floppy felt, let me open this, is that this stuff is really taped. <laughs> um, whenever you make like flowers, like rolled flowers, I feel like it looks cuter with a floppy kind of felt instead of a stiff felt. Okay, so there's different types of felt. And I love stiff felt for like when I made the um, little um, book that holds needles. So on the outside I use the floppy kind of felt, but on the inside I use a stiff felt. So, you know, there's just different reasons you might want to use one opposed to the other. But this one, I don't know if you can tell already, it's kind of like giving a lot. But the other one is stiff. It's more like paper-like. So I picked this up because I needed more colors of it, and I just thought this was a good deal and pretty colors. So I'm super happy to have this. And these are, I think, 9 by 12 pieces. Or 8 by 12 I don't know. So I grabbed those. 
Just want to show them to you real quick in case you were curious. And now we will get to the stuff from Michaels and there is a lot of stuff. So when I went yesterday, um, you know, I go online and if I want to order something, I'm like, eh, and it's like shipped to store. Well, I got to go to the store anyway or whatever. So um, I have a couple Michaels that aren't too far. One's only a couple miles. The other one's a little bit further out. So one's in Escondido and the other one's in Vista out here in Southern California. And so I went to the Vista one because they've had, um, not Christmas stuff, they had Valentine stuff, but I just didn't want to go over there, you know? <laughs> I was like, ah, it's like six miles. I don't want to drive. But um, I went ahead and went because otherwise my Escondido one still was like, no, not in stock or limited supply, you know. And I'm like, ah. And they finally got Valentine things in. So I just want to show you the stuff I grabbed. Hopefully I'll be able to make a video of something like this. But I grabbed these because I thought these were so cute. Look at this. This one looks like a gem. And basically you put chocolate in it, right? So you make like a little chocolate box or a chocolate bomb or however you want to use it. But um, I grabbed two of each design because if you're melting chocolate, I don't want to wait for just the one to set up. And then now i got to do the other, you know, wait for it to set up and then pop it out. And then the other one. So I grabbed two at least. So maybe I can do four at a time, right? Of the soft-sided hearts or rounded. And then this one is more gem. So I grabbed those. Hopefully I can make a video of it. That would be fun. Um, just a ton of stuff, guys. I don't... Okay, so <laughs> Valentine stickers. And these are super adorable. So I grabbed a few packs. They were four nine nine. They're 40% off now, but I was like, five bucks for this little pack of stickers. But anyway, um, it just had a lot of cute things in it. Look at this. I mean, we love that kind of thing. Just to pop it in here and there, right? So I grabbed a couple of them. Aww. So cute. And then along with those, they had these little stamps that I thought were just adorable just to pop on real quick. And something just boop. Maybe on the outside of an envelope. Um, in the kids, not kids area, but almost the kids area, they have these glues that I think are really cool, but mostly Miranda will love these. Look at this. I love the glitter mix that's in there. And I'm assuming the hole for it is much bigger because obviously this stuff is chunky. And then the little thin glues. These were not on sale, but I just thought they were cute. Uh, this kind of thing I would have loved when I was always doing my nails, like acrylic nails. Look at the mix that's in there. Super cute with the little hearts and everything, but I'll use them for shakers, obviously, shaker cards. This one has more of like little uh, flowers and the purple kind of glitters in different shapes. Or maybe it's even iridescent glitter. It just looks purple, but it, anyway, there's a mix of that. This one has all the different little hearts and paillettes, like those big, bigger hexies. They had on clearance a bunch of stuff that has to do with wire wrapping, and of course, now that I got my bead stuff, I'm like, oh, those um, pliers that I reviewed yesterday or a couple days ago, um, this stuff was not 70% off, so I got some para wire. I tried to get the thickest ones they had, but of course, everybody did that, so these were the only ones left, 22 gauge and 20 gauge. And if you know about wire, the smaller the number, the thicker the wire, so I wanted you know, whatever it was, 20, but everything else was like 26, 28. I'm like, no, 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 that's too thin. So I grabbed these guys. So I have those. And then I picked these guys up even though they weren't on sale yet. I just grabbed them. I think they have a 20% off coupon or something. Oh, here comes my neighbors, lawn people. Um, but this one does have thicker, thinner, and then that really thin wire. Like I said, this is probably like 26, 28 gauge, which is not my favorite, but it has its uses. Oh, it's 24, see? 18, 20, and 24. I would have loved for those other ones to be 18 gauge. But we're gonna do some wire wrapping soon, I hope. So I will keep you guys posted on that. Oh, I'm just trying to get these bags. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna say there's more Valentine stuff. Much, much more Valentine stuff. Um, cute little clippies. Again, you know, with the little guy on there. I hope. Yeah, it, it shouldn't come off. It looks kind of odd in the background. I think it's plastic. I was like, is that, is that a foam sticker? If it's a foam sticker, then I could have done that myself. But hopefully, it's just like a piece of plastic holding that on. Little heart doilies because why not? Um, little tags, they have the little hearts on them. Uh, ephemera pieces, which I thought were really fun, so I went ahead and grabbed those. I went uh, wild, only because <laughs> I haven't been seeing this stuff, so I'm like, oh, I have to get everything. And the lady's so funny, she's like, I know, she's like, we just, in this last shipment, they finally got some of this stuff in, she's like, we got Christmas stuff, and I'm like, and it went right to clearance, and she's like, yep, because it's already on clearance, you know, 70% off, so that's a bummer. Um, card bases, uh, like, why not? I thought this would be actually really cute to do some different projects with. So I got these little card bases with little hearts. I did get their papers. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, these little the guys. And now these $4.99, guys. 40% off even at that. I'm like, ugh. But they're so cute and tiny. So I went ahead and grabbed them. But maybe you can find some like this at the dollar store. 
Um, these little wood ones are so adorable. Little hearts. Um, these guys. So they had these, I think they were 70% off. So, you know, 25 bucks for some chunks of uh, rock, but these were really pretty. They had some that were legit rocks. Like, it looked like you could just go outside and get them. I'm like, why would anybody want that? Unless you're going to tumble them, I guess. But, um, or maybe that's the look you want. But they're made specifically for the wire wrapping stuff. So, um, you just take that big old rock or cab and you can wrap it with wire and then you can put it on whatever project. For me, this is more of an outdoors project, like something I'm going to hang outside. Um, uh, because these are really big. Look at how pretty this one is. Love those. Oh, so pretty. So, got those. Okay, so I, I'm trying to be more courageous with my Cricut stuff. So I did pick up some glitter gel pens. They weren't on sale, but I was like, whatever, they're here. And I just grabbed them um, for the Cricut Joy. Again, the Joy has different things than the other <laughs> machines. So um, I just grabbed one pack. I think I have one a pack oh, right here. Uh, when I bought the Joy, they, it was a bundle and it came with these basic pens. So now I have a couple packs and we will try some things out. I have some ideas in mind. So we have that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, <laughs> I grabbed these. These are kid things that, again, they're 40% off too, but because I wanted these big, huge puffies. So, you know, there's some other things in here that would be cute, but maybe Miranda can make herself a little something. She would love that, but I really wanted these guys. So I grabbed that for those. Uh, ribbons, 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 of course. Little hearts, all different types. Cute. Oh, look at this one. So cute. So I like to make Miranda like little hair bows and it'll have like spikes or a bunch of these guys kind of hanging out in the background. So that's what I got those for mostly. Maybe projects. Um, this little letter with the heart is so cute. It's a cookie cutter. And so as you use it, depending on how thick you cut your cookie stuff, um, you might get the imprint of these things, which I think is adorable. So that's what it's for. But as you can see, they're recessed. So your dough has to be at least an eighth of an inch if not a little bit thicker which is about what i do so that'd be cute i haven't made those kind of cookies in a long time i rolled cookies i was doing you know the whole royal icing and it was really fun and they looked really gorgeous but um i just haven't had the time so a uh, little love stamp oh this is from the do I have another one i thought i had another one yeah this is from the christmas stuff and the christmas clearance items but these are um wire ribbon right and I thought this is cute for like every day and so is this one but all you have to do if you don't like the wire is just kind of poke it out and once you're cut you know what you want just pull it out and then that way you can use it however you want without having the wire thing making it do its thing right so I grabbed those because they weren't very Christmassy in my opinion and you know there were a couple bucks after the 70% off so really pretty and then I grabbed some of these because I wanted to try them. They're the Sweet Tooth Fairy um, Meltables. And this one's Cheesecake, which I was like, oh, I have to grab that. And this one is um, Red Velvet. And hopefully I can use these along with the chocolate base to go and decorate the little um, heart chocolate bombs. You know what's weird about that? Somebody, I had seen a video and I didn't, well, I didn't watch the video because <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, whatever. But um, saying hot cocoa bombs like putting them out of business or something. I don't know. Whoever came up with them or something, hot chocolate bombs, I guess they were maybe suing people because it was like their idea. I don't know. So I'm like, what's up with that? Um, a lot of bakeries and just people started making them, right? But I don't know. Maybe I should watch the video. <laughs> Far be it for me to do anything that's going to get me sued, you know? Like, even right now, I picked up some different things from Amazon and I picked up some dyes and, then I was, and they're relatively inexpensive. But then I was like, you know what? A lot of times I think now Amazon is doing a lot of things that you might see on companies like AliExpress and it's so funny people make videos still about that stuff and they're like, they call it Ali because I guess they think they're not going to get in any kind of issues <laughs> calling it Ali instead of AliExpress. It's like, you know what? I just stay away from it. Even the Amazon ones, I'm like, you know what? I am not in that. So <laughs> just an FYI, if you ever see that I don't talk about those things or show them on my channel, it's for that reason. Uh, Gilded Ink. These were on clearance, and I was like, what? I have to get, look at this. I think I might have grabbed one of these before. This is, I mean, this is, I, I, I love it. It was the last one they had. If they had two, wait, did they have two? I was like, did I get two? No, if they had two, I would have bought two. Um, look at that. Love it. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Oh, it has like six by six pieces. I think I passed them up. But anyway, they do have some paper and everything is on clearance. I guess they're having a clearance right now, right? Look at these. <gasps> I love that. So these are more like 
A2 size, I guess. And then you saw the 6x6. Six six. I can't find it again. Wow. And then some other different things. So that's really pretty. And this guy, I might have already bought this one before, but again, they were on clearance. And it's double-sided, which I don't remember having double-sided paper from Michael's like this. So I grabbed... They had three packs left. I grabbed two of them. So pretty. I can't wait to make like a traveler's notebook with this or something like that. Folders. I mean, you guys. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so that's those. And yes, I bought three of these. <laughs> the other two are over here. <laughs> um, they had four left. And I was like, you know what? I do not like their glitter paper. You guys have seen before, I think, in other videos where I die cut it and it like comes apart. It's it's not the best, okay? Like this will come off of the background paper, which is really annoying. Um, I haven't tried die cutting it like on a Cricut, but I'm talking about when you die cut it with a regular machine, like, you know, just dies. And it's it's not great. I mean, it looks pretty, but it, and it doesn't shed, which is awesome. But it's just, I don't know how they put this together, that it just comes away. From the base paper it's really annoying but there's plenty of that paper in here i just you know I, like i said i don't have valentine's paper i don't know what's up with that so these are very generic you know hearts and things um but you guys this is what got me i was like oh my goodness look at these very plastic feeling because i think they have a they cover it. they must have a plastic coating on them or something to keep them safe because they feel weird but look at this the little hearts and then um Again, more of that glitter paper. Hopefully, maybe now in these packs, they're done differently. I don't know. But that's not... I didn't even notice that acetate. I saw this acetate, and I was like, oh, I have to get this. Look at these, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So, I grabbed the three packs, and I left one for somebody. <laughs> Whoever else might need one. I mean, look at how cute even with this paper behind it. I didn't know this had so much of that glitter paper. So, we we're definitely going to have to work with this, because it's not great. And then, this is the little pad. And these are 40% off right now, too. So, again, if you can get them online, because they do have them online. They're available, um, you know, shipped to your house or whatever, or to the store. So, that's great. Um, I might even pop on there and buy more of this, because I love those acetate. Oh, my gosh, I didn't know that this one was so good, too. I think I only had one of this paper pad left, though, so that's why I only grabbed the one. Um, look, it has foil paper, the XOXO paper little stripes some more foil paper i haven't really tried their foil paper but i don't think that's a problem it feels fine again that one is a repetition of like the hearts that are over here oh my gosh i didn't know that this had the acetate i mean it's a little piece right six by six but i did not know the gold foil this little pink heart paper it's also in this one is so cute i love the colors oh my gosh you guys i'm definitely gonna pop on and buy more of this because i was not aware <laughs> so the red foil and then that little red heart, and then this uh, bigger heart. Oh, I didn't know this one had such fun things in it. Because, you know, I didn't really look at it. I just grabbed it because I'm like, I'm here, I'm, I'm going to buy it. So I grabbed that. Super happy. I don't probably need another Valentine the Larger pad because, I mean, but how oh, that... Who knows? We'll see. Um, and then I grabbed six of these. So I have tons of these Iris... Um, type of cases like I'm looking at one right now actually oh man I should have bought 12 I was trying to think in my head I'm like how many of these things do I have I have that one's okay but one two three four four of these things in front of my face but I figured the one that's right behind me might be in videos if I'm ever <laughs> filming my face which I hardly ever do because honestly it's laziness like I gotta get ready and then I have to rearrange what my camera set up which is always like a pain to get it back to where I want it afterwards you know how i normally film facing down and um the one behind me is just clear and i thought oh it'll be cute to replace those clear ones with these kind of peachy pink ones because it'll go with my little diamond press boxes and all of that you know so i grabbed six of these because they were on sale but now i feel like i need to order six more and replace those that one's bad this other one i'm looking at has clear and pink ones and the same thing and it doesn't look great and some of them are broken that's the other thing i've had them for so many years i mean 15 16 years and you know traveling around the u.s with us so they're like busted so um yeah i'm happy to have these this isn't even the iris brand but they, they fit simply tidy it says so i grabbed six of those all right i think that's it for right now i do have some hsn craft day stuff still on its way it's mostly the studio light uh dies and stuff like that so i ordered tons of them and they should be here tomorrow i think hopefully they come in today anyway i've been spring cleaning it's been crazy 
love going to the post office and getting your guys' um, swaps. Like, it's been really fun to see. I always take a quick peek just to make sure things are okay. And, um, and it's been awesome. The Crafty Galantine stuff people are sending in is really, really sweet and really fun. I think that's a, a fun thing to do. As far as swaps, I'm not going to do another one probably until the end of February going into March. So once these wrap up and they are in, like, you're not going to see another sign up until then. And I'll try to hold myself to that because I say that and then I get all excited. I have an idea right now that's like burning in my head and I really want to get it out. But <laughs> I'll try not to do it until the end of February. Um, you know, you know me. I get... I get real excited and then I'm like, oh, I just want to put it out there. But no, I need a break because I did three swaps kind of overlapping each other and it has been crazy. So um, a lot of fun, but very crazy. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in a bit. I do have some other things I want to get to, um, including an open house, um, open house card uh, tutorial from Spellbinders. You know how they have their little open house door that also goes with the always welcome door that they did um, in one of the craft kits not too long ago, card kits uh, last year. And it's um, Valentine related. It's so cute, you guys. And I've been meaning to get to it. So hopefully I'll do that today too. So hopefully you guys will see that later on. All right. I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.